As part of this scenario, we're going to show you how the current platform can detect cluster um, with simple rules. The definition of cluster here is two buses driving in the same direction, so the same services, same route, same direction, and close uh, distance within about 40 meters from each other. Um, of course, this is a, a predefined the distance between the two buses and it would make sense to have um, a, a change of distance based on where the buses are. For example, if you are in a, a, a downtown or a CBD uh, fairly congested, you might want to reduce that to let's say 10 meters um, simply because you do not want to have two buses on the highway um, and have the same two buses in the city with the same rule that detects the cluster. So without um, any further ado, let's start the first scenario. So with this first scenario, if, as soon as I click on the, the trigger of the scenario, you can see that uh, we are starting a bus. This is a, a metro bus, M52. We automatically calculate the speed based on the last two GPS coordinates. And we also uh, will calculate the passenger load, but not for this specific scenario. What we have as well is we we assume that we could embed a, a sort of a device or a tablet or any type of device into the dashboard of the bus driver and uh, simply uh, provide some feedback to the bus driver without having the bus driver to, to uh, check what's happening around him or her. Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is soon um, we're going to start a second bus. The two buses will uh, go into a cluster. And as soon as the cluster starts, you will see that we will indicate first visually on the map that the two buses are in a cluster uh, by simply showing a warning sign on the, on the bus. Here we go. Here we got the same information here on the side and on the map itself. From the bus point of view, we're now showing that the bus are in a cluster and we're in, uh, informing both buses that they are currently in the cluster. Uh, we could provide more information such as which bus is at the front and based on the information um, decide what we want to tell the bus driver. But this is also important to note that this dashboard is also uh, a subscription and therefore get a uh, push notification of any messages going through the bus without having the client to uh, regularly check what's going on. The advantage of that as well is you could have multiple listeners to the same type of events and therefore broadcast this message to multiple receiver. So as soon as the cluster um, dissolve, and you're going to see that on the map shortly, that one of the buses will accelerate, therefore resolving the issue with the cluster. The, the platform and the engine that we've built so far for this demo automatically identify that as uh, the cluster rule doesn't apply anymore. And like you can see, the warning side disappear and the message on both buses disappear as well.